What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, we're set up today. Uh, campers all set up and ready to go. We're at Montgomery Bell State Park here in Middle Tennessee, just outside Dixon. And uh, we are headed to the lake to do some fishing today. Hopefully, we'll get something done. Got the kayak all loaded up in the back of the truck here. Got my three rods ready to go. We're going to work with a uh, buzz bait. Uh, a little spinner bait and a worm for a little while and see how that goes hey you guys go down below hit that like and subscribe button make sure you ring that bell for future notifications let's get to it now, i'm gonna see how this spinner bait right here will run on this little ultralight i'm afraid it's gonna be too much weight well i guess i'm not that did not go well at all. Doggone brand new lure. Now how in the world did that happen? And if you can believe that. First cast. And I lost me a $5 lure. It just flung right off of there, folks. I'm not exactly sure how that happened. That was definitely a line break and not a knot break because the knot I tie is a polymer knot and I've never had a polymer knot break on me. Doggone it. Y'all hold on. Right there where you at. Don't go anywhere. I'm not sure why that that may be why All right, guys, we're going to be putting this rod up. That line, I thought I just changed the line on this last year, but obviously I was mistaken because there's no way if I just put line on that last year that it would be doing that. So, that line is shot there is absolutely no stinking way that i will be using that today all right i think we are set to start fishing now i thought we were set to start fishing a while ago it was painfully obvious that i thought wrong this buzz bait oh look here first cast with the buzz bait <laughs> first doggone cast with the buzz bait boys and girls so come here i'm gonna let you go that right there i well if you will hold on come here he's a rowdy guy I'm here. I'm going to let you go if you'll just be still. Small, but he's fun to catch. He wore that buzz bait out. <laughs> there you go, little buddy. Was that? Had any luck after that first cast? No. 
Caught that one fish on the first cast, and it was that was it. Drop it back down in the water. Like that guy's got a fish hanging from a tree. <laughs> Little tiny torpedo. Yeah. Done any good today on it? I've caught one on a buzz bait. It's, it's been hard fishing out here today. Yeah, it's been a. Uh, That's about the size of one I caught. Hold on, buddy. Tell you what you might have to do. I don't know if you'll ever pull this tiny torpedo back through there. So what you might have to do is let you line out enough for me to get this over there to you. Mm -hmm. Then you can cut it and retie and you not lose all your line. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, I'm getting you there. Hold on, I know. I know. Appreciate you coming over here. I don't, I don't never I swear, When I saw you, I was like, he's never gonna get that back. <laughs> oh, man, let's see if I can get a... Here, I'm gonna pitch him. Okay. I appreciate you. Not man. a problem, brother. As hard as they are to catch, you don't want them to get off because something like as small as that. He's pretty little fish. Yeah, he's a pretty one. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Take a little quick pick. And then... Absolutely. And see, guys, that's what etiquette is called. You help somebody out when they're in trouble. That was a huge help. Thank you. By the way, if you have YouTube, I'm the volunteer fisherman. Small channel just getting started, but if you would look me up, I'd appreciate it. I will. What's it called? The volunteer fisherman. The volunteer fisherman. Yeah, I live in Portland, Tennessee, right outside of uh, just north of Nashville. Well, I'll definitely look you up. All right, appreciate it, bud. Yes, sir. Have a good uh, You too. And I might switch back over to a slower top water. Is that may be the trick uh, today? Is having something a little more uh, that you can set.
instead of a constant retrieve. On that, and they may just not be. as active as it takes to really go after a buzz bait. You may need more of a, like he's pitching that tiny torpedo. We might need a, a pop R. And what's odd is I took my pop R's off this morning and switched over to a, a buzz bait, which seemed to be a good choice after that first cast because after that first cast, I thought, oh, all right. Well, not the first cast, because the first cast I lost that spinner bait as soon as I threw it and I was like, oh no. Uh, and then I realized that uh, That line was shot on that rod. And that's when I went to the buzz bait and I caught that fish on the first cast. And I thought, well, all right. Uh, but since that point, nothing, zilch, zero. No action whatsoever on the buzz bait. On this rod. And I'll see if I can show you guys the knot that I tie. And most of you probably already know it. It's called a polymer knot. And you want to go through the eye of the lure. Well, cat hair. I will be dead gone. You have got to be kidding me. It's falling down in that scupper hole. <laughs> I didn't think I, I was afraid I was going to have to push it out and wait for it to come out of the back. All right. You want to go through the eye. Like that. And you want to go back through the eye. Back through the eye so that you have a loop like this. Like that. And you're gonna start by tying a simple overhand knot Like that. Then you're gonna run that lure or hook, or whatever it is you're tying, through the loop, and then you're gonna grab both sides and pull that tight. You wanna make sure that it doesn't get wrapped down around the eye. You want it to come up on top of the knot. And you're gonna pull that out 
kind of like that and you can cut that off right down tight that knot will not break your line might break but that knot is not going to break uh, that that line is double around that eye and I've been tying that knot since I was a teen and I've never once seen that knot fail That's the knot that was on that spinner bait that I threw off earlier. I guarantee you, you go back and look, and that knot is still on there. <laughs> I hope y'all are getting some entertainment out of this. Some quality, some quality entertainment. <laughs> Not just any entertainment, but some quality entertainment. <laughs> hey guys, appreciate y'all dropping by, uh, checking out my video. Uh, I, I do appreciate every one of you and um, uh, look forward to the next one. Hey, if uh, you like what you see, don't forget, drop down below, hit that like and subscribe button and uh, make sure you ring that bell for future notifications. Hey, today was a struggle. I hope you guys got a laugh uh, or maybe a smile from my misfortune because, uh, hey, that's what I'm here for, uh, to, to provide you with, with some sort of entertainment, whether it be good or bad or, or somewhere in between. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that I can uh, share my misfortune with you guys. Uh, come back for part two of this, this uh, excursion. Uh, it might be a little better. Uh, until then, you guys have a good one.